We're gonna work on the basics of floating the ground ball. And what this one's gonna be called is tip of the bat. All right. So whenever uh, y'all got y'all's partners, you got a bat, and just get you like one or two baseballs. That's all you need, or softball, whichever. All right. So let's get in the grass. And you lay down the bat. Lay down the bat right between your feet, right here. All right. So now what we're gonna do is what we're gonna do is. Y'all have heard the old saying, close the alligator mouth whenever fielding a ground ball. The ball's going to be rolled to you, and you're going to close the alligator mouth whenever it gets in your glove. So it doesn't come popping out, hit you in the face, whatever. The reason why we call this tip of the bat is because anytime you field a ground ball, you're not going to field it in between your legs. You're actually going to field it out in front of you. So if it does kick, if it does bounce, it'll hit you in the chest and bounce right back down. And that also comes with saying, the uglier the hop, the longer you stay square. Because if it's a bad hop, and you go to pull up, fill it between your legs, or you try and get out the way or whatever, and it's going to bounce wherever, and the play won't be made. So what we're going to do is you're going to give it to your partner. They're going to be in front of you. They're going to roll the ball, and you're just going to fill it out in front of the bat. Do it a couple times, and then switch. Like, scoop that. Exactly. You're going to fill it out in front of the bat. You squat down athletic position so they're kind of like that. Oh, like this? Ready? Oh, yeah. Please. Try and try oh. roll it right directly in front of the bat. And you want to get, get down there. Well, we see all kinds of skill levels in this activity. Now I can switch. Now the other person can do it with the bat. Yeah, we see no. Like this is the first thing. Next, everybody pull the balls. Next, we're gonna do what he was doing earlier. He's so smart, man. We're gonna work on coming up to it with your footwork. What it really is is you're just gonna come up, you're gonna sort of set your feet, feel it. All right, you don't want to be uh, you don't want to be running and moving and then falling over your feet whenever you go to throw. So whenever you're coming up to it, set your feet and feel it. Whenever you feel it, now what we're gonna do is you're gonna feel it. Bring it up to your chest, and then you'll be ready to make a throw. Y'all watch how he does this. Whenever he gets to it, his feet are square whenever he gets to it. How do y'all like that? Or with one foot back, he's walking forward. Watch him do it. His feet are square and he's smooth. Just like that. He's done it more than once, I bet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm sure y'all can do it just like that, too. Show him how it's been, girl. 
There you yeah, go. for the camera. In sm slow motion, yes. <laughs> I have a fancy camera I'm showing her. So, you know. I think Jonathan's played a little bit too. Okay, Looks now, like. now we're going to work on our backhand. And most of the time whenever you're doing a backhand, Hold. it's more of a pick. It's going to be a nice little short hop pick. So what we're going to do is the partner's going to be in front of you. You're just going to backhand it. You don't want to step or nothing. You just want them to roll it straight to your backhand. You're just gonna... And whenever you do this, you kind of want to pick and roll a little bit. Because if you go pick it straight up and it kicks, it's going to go straight up in the air. But if you pick and roll and say you bobble it, it'll end up right back in front of you. Pick and roll with that back hand.
drive hit right back at you. You don't have much reaction to it. You want it to have a little short hop. Just obviously catch it, but and just like a backhand, whenever you're gonna roll, you're gonna get this, kind of roll with it, knock it down. If you're right-handed, here. So forehand pick. You're gonna put it right there, right before his foot. So they can pick. You don't want to spike it straight at him or bounce up like that. You just want it to be like a little short hop. Just like that. But you want to make sure that you get down there and catch it down there, like right after it bounces. Yes. Do you have another skill? Do you have another skill after this? After this one? Mm -hmm. I mean, we could just mix it up and just have fun okay. with it. But well, I was trying to figure out when to cut it off. Because yeah, we, so. we need to pick up our equipment before we go over the football. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, there's not much more you can do other than just mix it up. Right. Okay, 